Hey everybody, Coach Willem here from Restored Strength, and this is our Friday's workout for our second program of our spring phase of training. We're going to begin with a kettlebell suitcase march, and with those we're going to be going down and back, maybe two to four laps, then switch sides, same thing, on the opposite arm. And so as I'm going through this, I place my hand behind my head, I raise my chest up, and I want to create a little bit of space between my elbow and my wrist. From here, I'm nice and tall, walking down to the end of the mat, turning around, walking back, then switching sides after I've done a couple of laps. Next, what I want to do is move into our 90-90 with hip rotation, four reps there. And so with that 90-90 with hip rotation, I start with my hips in the 90-90 position. And from here, I can do one of two things. I can either use my hands to assist me to go through that range of motion, or if I wanted to progress to make it a little bit more challenging for myself, I'm gonna use my hands and squeeze them together as I'm rotating my hips from side to side. As soon as you've done four reps on each side, you're gonna move into your single arm half kneeling YTL. And so I'm gonna go into my half kneeling position here, pushing my big toe into the floor, my foot firmly down. I'm gonna go into a Y, Bring it back down to center, palm faces up. Going into my T, back to center, and my elbow bends, and my arm just goes slightly outward, an L. So with those, we're going to be doing four reps on each side. Next, we're gonna move into our kettlebell swing and our uh, single arm dumbbell bench press. So with our kettlebell swing, we're gonna be doing anywhere from six to 10 reps. We're gonna tilt that belt towards you. You're gonna to toss that belt behind you and explode through those hips up. So it's a bend in the knee and a snap of the hip, making sure that we're standing tall at the top position. As soon as you're done there, you're gonna move into your single arm dumbbell bench press. We're gonna be doing six reps, four seconds down. So as I grab my, my dumbbell, I'm gonna be pulling it down, slow and controlled, four, three, two, one, press back up, and then pull it back down, four, three, two, one, press back up. We're gonna do six reps on each side. For conditioning, we're gonna be doing kettlebell step ups and USB bent over rows. So I'm placing my whole foot onto the box, driving my heel and big toe into the floor, pressing up to stand tall, slightly taking a step back, and driving up. So. My left leg stays still, my right leg moves. I'm gonna alternate on the next following round. Afterwards, I'm going to move into my bent over row with the USB. I'm gonna have a slight bend in the knee, I'm gonna reach my hips back. From that position there, I wanna keep tension at my belly button, raise my chest up, squeeze my shoulder blades together as I pull the bag in half. And so as I'm going through this motion, I wanna avoid this rounding of the low back. If we're having some issues with some low back pain, we can move into a regular deadlift. And if that feels you know, good, that's when we can move into that USB bent over row. Focusing on pulling the bag towards the chest, keeping yourself tall and tight.